Hey everyone, it's Thomas here. So the title today, uh, Bulletproof Turntable. I mean, yeah, it's a bit of a clickbait, but I'm not really lying. And uh, there's some truth to it. So for those of you who just want to check out that turntable, now skip to this timestamp here. So recently, uh, I got to go to Toronto to visit my friend uh, alone without my family. So I want my brother and my uh, nephew, but without my kids, without my wife. So I, I get to go wherever I want. And guess what? Obviously, I'm going to go to any place that has stereo. So uh, I dropped by uh, a store called Audio Excellence. And it turns out that the, uh, one of the guys working there is a subscriber of mine. So I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay, I, I can make some videos here. And I thought the turntable was interesting. So uh, let me show you around. And also guys, it's nice enough for the place to allow me to film. So, you know, guys, comment section, please, no negative comments. You know, this is really just for fun. And I thought it was cute to, to show you how a high-end turntable looks like. Like it's the first time for me too. All right, guys. So the first thing you notice when walking in the store is that they have a headphone section. Store is not really big, but uh, they have they sell a lot of high-end items. Yeah, they sell vinyl in the front. There's some uh, headphone amps, and the first room that you see on the right as you walk in is that they they have a few pair of bookshelf speakers. Here they're auditioning. Well, they're showing the Sonos Faber. They carry a, a lot of interesting line like Lumen, Peach Tree. Uh, I, I saw some PS audio as well as uh, Bel Canto. So uh, I guess uh, this is a great place to come to, to audition some high-end bookshelf speakers. The main room uh, in the front, uh, they have a few things on display that were interesting to me. The Macintosh 252 integrated 2M. This I would love to get my hands on. The Diva Le, I wish I asked him to let me listen to them. Uh, I didn't try the, these are Wilson Audio bookshelf speakers, that's too bad I didn't try them. Vinyl, uh, I quickly glanced through it. I mean, I have a turntable, but I, I spend most of my time listening to digital. Then as you move to the back room, you see that there's now that's the main listening room. And they have some very really, you know, high-end stuff here. You got some TAD speakers, some Maggie's, as well as... Um, some Wusens. Well, there you go. Sonos Faber. I mean, gosh, a few of these speakers are the price of my car. So the main room. My name is Jake. So Jay is actually one of my subscribers here. Look, look at, <laughs> look at what we're looking at today: a two hundred thousand dollar turntable, and a fifty thousand dollar Wilson. We got the brand is Wilson, and the and it's that Sasha. And by the way, Jay has a YouTube channel, and you should follow him because <laughs> he's excellent at talking uh, about speakers. Yeah, he was introducing me to these speakers, and he's really good, guys. He's way knowledgeable than I am. Today, I'm going to show you how a $200,000 turntable looks like. So we have the Clear Audio Statement here, um, and this is the 95th. I believe there's about 100 of these. That's why it says number 95 on here, because that's the 95th one. And this is the platter. Just the platter itself is pretty massive. Um, and all this for basically to reduce any vibration. Now, if you see here, that's actually a gigantic weight, probably more than my weakling ass can handle. And that is there because that's a pendulum actually. And if you see here, Thomas, yeah. let's say I have a record on here. Yeah. Sorry, I can't demo it for you right now, but um, I rock it. Oh, yeah. And you will still hear it perfectly. Right. Um, this is actually a pendulum so that the weight distribution is perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, this wood here is actually interesting. When we say gear is bulletproof, um, usually it's not actually bulletproof. This is actually bulletproof. So I can take a gun and shoot at it? And yes. The bullet will bounce off. Yes, it's actually called panzer wood. It's actually wood that's bulletproof. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's a German wood. And it is actually bulletproof. So I make a joke, you know, if anyone was to rob your house and you had this guy here, um, they wouldn't be able to seal it in the first place, but it's bulletproof. And so earthquake, rob, uh, robbery, you're always free from that when you buy this turntable. And rightfully so at this price point. 
um, the needle is the clear audio Goldfinger, which is, um, I believe, the top of the line. Uh, very expensive and very fine. Uh, don't know exactly the price off my head, but I believe it's like twenty thousand. Don't quote me on that. Um, Less than my car, man. <laughs> of course, it's a linear tracking, um, like most clear audio turntables in the um, upper range. It has a level here. So the turntable and the tone arm and the cartridge is all separate. It's all separate pieces. Uh, you see here the clear audio um, statement sign, and it, right below it is the tracking um, speed, which is displayed when the turntable is playing. Mm -hmm. So you can actually increase the speed, or decrease the speed to match um, <clears throat> the speed. You have the 45, 78, and 33, and you can match the speed in between, of course, with the speed control. So I actually saw this being taken down and set up mm -hmm. and it takes quite a bit of a long time to actually do so. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually done by a professional from Clear Audio. He comes here and he does it himself. I've never done it, I'm not qualified to do it. So only a personnel that is qualified will come to your house and install it for you personally. This is actually a platter underneath and you can see that if I turn this, this is also turned as well. And there is a belt, I believe, here yeah, I see that. I see yeah. yeah so it's more than just one platter it's a pattern underneath controlling it as well Whoa. so the, of course I'm no I'm no professional with this turntable um, I just want to point that out this turntable is very very sophisticated in design and um, its mechanisms and so that's the extent of my knowledge with this turntable I'm sure there's more to it though <laughs> wow. all right guys and the million wow, so these Wilsons were pretty good. I also heard a Sabrina later on, but uh, I, I prefer these will, these ones. And uh, Jay was showing me the back of the speakers, and this is very interesting. You can tilt the speaker a little bit for time alignment. And what stood out for me was that the bass was really strong on these speakers. So, um, all right, guys, I guess I'll end the video at this point. If you're shopping for high-end uh, speakers like these, like Wilson, Sonus Favor, and uh, Macintosh, check this place out. The reason is because when you're shopping for equipment gear at this price range, it's good to talk to people who know what they're talking about. And uh, by spending a bit of time with Jay, me and my friend, uh, my friend who owns the $300,000 system, agree that, uh, yeah, Jay knows what he's talking about. So with that, I'll, leave, I'll end the video. Check out Jay's channel. Uh, it's, it's mostly headphone, but he's branching out and he's starting to talk about speakers. Um, it's very interesting. And the production value is definitely way higher than mine. All right, guys, later. Hey, guys, by the way, if you're in Toronto and you want to try ice cream with gold on it, I mean, real gold, uh, yeah, there's a place at Markham. Check this uh, photo out.